Okay, so we're looking at another question on circle theorems. And this question um, deals with two um, aspects of circle theorems. For example, um, we have a, a tangent right here and we have a card right here. And we know that there, there's, a, there's a theorem that states that the angle between a tangent and a card, the angle formed by a tangent and a card or between a tangent and a card, is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So let's look at this. We have the tangent, and a tangent doesn't cut the circle or pass through the circle. It just touched the circle at the edge. And the chord is just a straight line uh, that whose ends really are on the circumference. So if I call this point A and call this point B, the, from this point A, go down to this point B, we have a chord AB. So the angle formed between this chord and this tangent is 34 degrees. What it's saying here is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So a chord separates a circle into two segments, the major and minor segment, or even you can say it's any two segments. So if we have this chord here, right? So just think of this as a cake, and I slice the cake along this line. Someone will get this piece. This piece is a minor segment because it's smaller. Over the dotted region over here, we call it the major segment because it's larger. Okay? Got that? So a, 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 a chord separates the circle into two segments. So this chord AB separates the circle into this minor segment over here. Okay? And this major segment, which is going to be this region here. Okay? That's the major segment. All right. Now the angle formed between the, the 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 chord and the tangent is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Well, this chord, right? If we go to the center of it, and the alternate segment will be this this segment over here, the major segment. So I'll go all the way. I will go a point straight down from the center. I'll basically hit this what? I'll hit this angle right there. So the angle between the tangent, which is this tangent, and the chord AB is equal to the angle, right, where I have the chord pointing straight at that angle. So these two angles are equal. This is the angle that is in the alternate segment, the opposite segment, opposite to the chord itself. So this, 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 this segment over here is opposite this chord chord points towards it. So the angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate or opposite segment, 34 degrees. Hopefully that one was clear. However, what we are asked to find is x. So if we look at this triangle, right, the sum of angles must add up to what? Yes, 180 degrees. x plus whatever angle is right here, we're not certain as yet, and 34 degrees, x plus this question mark, this angle right here, plus 34 degrees should give us 180 degrees. Now, this is basically an isosceles triangle because these two lines, this line here and this line, are of equal length. We know that because of the dashes on them. The dash and the dash on this mean that these two lines are of equal length. If they are of equal length, then the angles that face them must also be of equal length. So we have um, the angle that faces that faces this side here. Let's go to this angle, this side, and point straight ahead. Okay. So this side here points towards this angle, and this side here points towards this angle. If we go to the center of it. Two angles that face these two equivalent sides, of, right? Of this size of equal length, that is, are of equal value. So if I know one length is 34, okay, and I subtract it from 180, what would I get? 34 minus 180, 34 from 180, 180 minus 34, let's give us 146. That means this, these two angles, when added, should give you 146. 146 plus 34 will give us 180. 
So 180 minus 130, 180 minus 34 is 146 degrees. So if I want to find x, remember these two angles are equal. They're the base angles of an isosceles triangle. They are of equal size. That means they're sharing the 146 degrees. Because both of them are equal, we'll, we'll do what? We'll divide 146 into two parts. So we can find x by doing what? We can find x by subtracting from 180 degrees the 34 degrees. And the answer we get from that, we're going to divide it into two parts. So this x and this angle here will get the same value base angle of isosceles triangle. So that will give us 1, over this again, 146, divided by 2, that's 71 degrees. Okay, so this is 71 degrees. This angle here is also equal to x, 71 degrees. When we add them up, we get 142. These two angles add up to 142. When we add 34 to it, we get 180. Smooth angle in the triangle. Hopefully that was helpful.